What's going on, everybody? Weston Hockwitz here from the Green Bay Press Gazette, joined alongside Packers beat reporter Pete Doherty. Following the third day of the rookie orientation for the Green Bay Packers, and Mike McCarthy just spoke to the media. But one of the things he talked about, probably the most prevailing thing of this offseason so far, had nothing to do with the rookies, has to do with the offensive line and the shift that Brian Belag will be making to left tackle. Just Josh sitting move on, moving over to left guard. Uh, Pete, with that decision, obviously Mike said that that was something they wanted to do to try improving that, with that whole offense as a whole. What do you take out of that right now, and do you think that's going to be something that's going to be a catalyst for them going into next season. Uh, he, he made it sound like it was a decision based mostly on pass protection. Uh, you know, you want your best protectors if, with a right-handed quarterback on on the backside. Uh, and he basically said, "We'll log and sit their two best linemen, and they had played together over on the right side before, so we wanted to keep them together." And then, uh, you know, Lang will be on the at right guard and right tackle is uh, probably going to be wide open for uh, for the first couple of weeks of training camp. Yeah, McCarthy said he wouldn't address that until they actually get a chance to look at the depth chart. But obviously, you have Marshall Newhouse there, Derek Sherrod, Don Barclay, and also Dave Bakhtiari is also in there now to the fourth round draft pick. Pete, now looking at uh, BJ Coleman, the quarterback position, this was obviously his second orientation. We got to see him a little bit on Friday. McCarthy sounded like he really liked what he saw, though, from him and, uh, you know, what he could provide going into his second year. I, I would think he's at least got a shot at the winning the backup job this year. Last year, it turned out he really had no chance. He was so far behind Graham Harrell. He's got the advantage this year in that he's he's gone through the quarterback school, which is before the draft, so he didn't take part in the quarterback school last year. And they, they work uh, really hard on some very specific, detailed things in that camp, and I think guys get better at going through that. Uh, we'll see in training camp. He was, you know, he obviously looked pretty decent this weekend just because he knows so much more about what's going on than the, all those rookies. But uh, it'll be, uh, you know, when the OTAs and, and training camp is, you know, that's where it'll, the, the proof will be. One more thing to keep an eye on, too, Matt Brown, the, the undrafted quarterback from Illinois State. McCarthy also saying that he doesn't have any qualms about keeping him on the roster. Obviously, Nick Hill was on the roster last year. They decided to cut him, just stick with Coleman, so he still have those four quarterbacks to keep an eye on, too. Pete will be writing about B.J. Coleman in tomorrow's Green Bay Press Gazette. Be sure to check that out. And until next time, for Pete, I'm Wes. We'll see you later.